Hey, my name is Mike Gibson, and I serve on the praise team here at Gilead. I was listening to a podcast the other day, and it got me thinking about something I did many, many years ago that I was totally embarrassed by. I bet you could think of something that you were embarrassed by or ashamed of. I've got a whole list, and I was thinking about going through them, but it would take days probably. So I'm going to share one with you. I was in seventh grade, and I had a total crush on this girl. And Valentine's Day was coming up, and I talked my mom into buying me a single rose that I could hand to her and ask her to be my girlfriend. I know, I know, but it was going to be my girlfriend. I was so excited. After one of our classes, I walked down the sidewalk to meet her, and I saw her with a group of her friends, and I walked up, arms stretched out, and I said, hey, and I said her name, and smack, walked right into a pole. I handed her the rose and walked away, walked away completely ashamed. I was so embarrassed. Would you believe I also had additional classes with her the rest of the day? It was so bad. I bet you could think of stories as well that you'd be so ashamed of or so embarrassed by. But there's one thing we should never be ashamed of. And Paul says in Romans 1, to not be ashamed of the gospel because it's the power of God unto salvation to everyone who believes, both Jew and the Greek. The power of the gospel is absolutely amazing and can save anyone, so we should never be ashamed of that. Christmas is coming up just a couple of days, and we're very excited to spend time with our family and exchange gifts and and, and make some great memories. But let's also take some time to really focus on what it's all about. Let's focus on the gospel. The gospel wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for Jesus coming and being born, what we're celebrating in just a couple of days. So let's Let's be challenged to live our lives in a way that edifies Christ in talking about him and living for him and sharing the gospel with others. God bless you and Merry Christmas.